hi guys welcome back to my channel and if it's your first time here please 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 welcome please subscribe and enjoy the video and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back and yeah today i've come to rant <laughs> as you can see from the title it's mostly like a rant like a sentimental like okay today was my first day of classes after a two-month break and for those of you who do not know i'm a medical student um my school is in china but due to covid i'm back home and so <laughs> today was like the first day of class like after a two-month break and i've been doing online classes since i came back home from february um 2020 last year and yes again i repeat for those of you who do not know i left because of covid the covid situation i at that moment was just yeah packed my bags and came back home and now this is like i don't know more than a year later and this is my fourth sem uh, this is my fourth semester that i've studied and i'm doing it online again like every other semester and it's not been easy like doing online classes has super not been has not been easy it's something that <laughs> takes a lot of effort and motivation and I don't know i don't know if anyone else can relate anyone has been doing i think like more than a year of their classes online for me now this be, when I, i'm done this instead to be two years of online classes like completely online classes i don't know how others like if anyone else is going through the, this and it's been hard and you constantly have to push yourself you constantly have to motivate yourself to attend the classes like it's very easy to put the class like maybe playing on the pc and you just leave and go and do something else like it's very very easy but then you have to constantly like you know tell yourself and i won't lie like it's not every class that i've been able to attend and just sit there like sometimes i just like there are moments where it gets to you where like online classes are just like okay I can't do this anymore like i just i can't do this anymore i need like uh, this class like uh, i i will read the notes <laughs> i will read the notes so basically that's what i've been like battling for all these semesters and today being it like my first day of back to class after two months of you know uh, being on a summer vac uh, summer break i just you know began to think about china and that's what i've come to rant about <laughs> like i just became, uh, began to think of like remembering being on campus and that's one thing that i really really do which i feel like i took for granted like i miss being on campus like i miss you know having my classes nearby the um the canteen like the having the library although i was one person who never used the library to study but you know having just you know being able to look at the library and saying oh there's library yeah but i have an option of going there if i ever need to and yeah all those things like i really 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 do miss being on campus and today i came across certain videos that made me miss school like i miss china guys like this is i miss china i never okay not let's, i don't want to say i never thought i would say this like i've missed china but a lot of people have asked me like i've had a lot of people asking yeah do you regret coming home was it a regret you coming home and all that stuff and i always say like i've come back home and so much has happened positive negative like i've experienced a lot whereby it's been hard to say like whether i regret coming back or not or but like today like i was looking through some videos and just remembering school and i was just like <laughs> like can i just relieve one of these days although i'm i'm happy like i'm grateful i'm at home and all that stuff but like you know you just look back and you remember like even my friends like they're from other countries if you guys scroll down you see i did videos like uh with ulian who was like once my roommate and she lives in another country so you know things like that and you just begin to miss your friends so today i just came to rant and talk about how like i'm grateful for the experiences i had in china like i'm grateful like when i came back like home it took me like i used to ask myself so much did i make a bad decision uh going to study in china was it a good like decision and i used to you know i used to ask myself that question a lot but now looking back like i'm grateful i studied in china i'm grateful for the experiences that i went through the cultural experiences if there's one thing that i miss it's the food i really like i, I miss the food i would you know just for some chow fan some baozi i'm grateful for even just the culture i got to interact with chinese culture i got to taste like very chinese food food that i never thought i would ever taste i'm also grateful for the people i met like i'm really really grateful for the many people that i met in china you know some we don't really communicate even though we say hi here and there but we don't really we're not really in touch but i'm grateful for like 
every experience that I had in China. And I have had people who've come to ask me before and say, oh, precious, like, where should I study here? Like, where's the best place to study? That's up to you, where you think, what you want to experience, like, that is all up to you. But, yeah, I just came today to say, I miss China, guys. <laughs> I miss China, I miss campus life. And one thing that encouraged me today as I was thinking of how, you know, now it's, today's my first day of class. If I was in China, if I was on campus, this weekend would have probably been like preparing to getting back to class. You'd have been hearing people coming back from home, those who went home for their vacation, would have been getting new notebooks, new pens, looking forward to meet your professors like face to face. But one thing that encouraged me as I was thinking about it is a verse in Romans 8 28 which says everything works together for our good, for the good for the, of those who love the Lord and that really really encouraged me even though I'm back here at home God is still in control God still has my back and if you are also at home going through the same thing that I'm going through just hold on to that as a promise and knowing that oh you are not where you want to be there is a purpose and God is still in control, so trust God. Anyway, so for the last part of the video, I'm just going to show you some of the videos I was looking at and pictures and missing China. <laughs> Maybe some of the videos that were supposed to be vlogs, but they never made it here. And thank you so much for watching if you've come this far and see you in the next video. Precious? Yeah. What you doing? Studying. Studying? Wait, yes. We just completed our exams last week. I'm studying for next semester. Huh? Have some shame. I want to pass. Duh. Oh my god. I'm so done with it. What do you want in here? Outer. Okay, stand in the line. Let me go get my juice. I'm with these crazy people. Hi. I've called them crazy for one reason. Peace. They know themselves. Men drama. Is your phone cracked like mine? Yes. No one knows it's a box of rice. I do. Who's the most likely to watch romantic movies? Okay, I, I don't know why I picked this one. She's just romantic. Oh!